So get a meeting off the ground and, and, a, and a, a group to oppose WestConnex because we realised that uh, there's, there's been a... We've got a wonderful environment in Rockdale in a lot of ways and that is the, the Scarborough Park, Barton Park, wetland and parkland corridor. It's, uh, it's something that in, in, in a lot of ways is uh, very unusual in Sydney to have such a, it's about eight kilometres of uh, parkland and recreational space. Um, and it's, it's very important environmentally because it's the remnant of the old Botany Bay wetlands, which were huge, possibly the biggest wetlands on the east coast of Australia before European settlement. And that, and, and, and that makes what's left of those wetlands extremely important. It's, uh, it's extremely important not only for us, for people, uh, as a recreational corridor, but it's, a, it's an environmental corridor as well. It's a, it's a flight path for birds, it's a breeding ground for fish. Um, Tunbridge Creek in the, uh, in the Scarborough Park area is one of, the, one of the two biggest fish breeding grounds in Botany Bay. Um, at the top end of, in the Barton Park area, we've got another big fish breeding area, the uh, uh, Spring Creek and Muddy Creek areas are both very important for, for fish breeding. And if, if, if we lose those fish breeding areas, we lose a lot of the environment of Botany Bay. Um, and, and not only for people who fish, but for the whole environment, for the birds who eat the, uh, the small fish, Everything, everything is affected if we if we lose these areas. Uh, the uh, and of course, my main interest is uh, the birds of the uh, of the wetlands, particularly landing lights wetland, which is uh, still extremely important. Uh, it's it's a it, it attracts migratory wading birds from uh, that come down from Siberia every year. They migrate between Australia and northern Siberia. And if, if those wetlands have been coming there for hundreds or thousands of years, and that's, that's extremely important to their environment and to our environment, because their environment is our environment. Uh, so, and, and what, what uh, got me rather excited was one morning I went down to Landing Lights Wetland and there was a drilling rig in the middle of it, um, which I really thought was a bit, uh, a bit over the top. Um, it, this is a protected, protected area. It's protected by state and federal legislation, by international treaty, and here we have a great big drilling rig in the middle of the wetland, uh, beeping like a, a commercial truck backing up it was for, for half an hour or so and then running a generator all day um, I've uh, I complained to um, West Connects about it and I got a letter back and I've I've written a letter back to them which you can read over there it's uh, I've, I've printed it off as an open letter to uh, mr. Scully Ed Scully the uh, West Connects uh, one of the West Connects publicity people um, you can read that so they're the, they're the important things about what we're doing here tonight. We, we have to protect our, our environment. And it's not just, and it's, it's, it's not just for the environment, it's for us. It's, it's, it's our recreational area, and it's, it's important that we have a wet, uh, uh, an environment that's still viable, and, and as it is at the moment. It's still viable, it might be degraded in parts. We've got there are, there are other important aspects of this of this whole wetland corridor. One is that the reed beds just south of President Avenue uh, were extremely important to the indigenous people of the area at the time of European settlement. Uh, the redcoats sometimes went hunting them and tried to round them up and they just retreat into the reed beds and, and no one could find them. The, the redcoats would fall off their horses in the swamps and uh, the uh, indigenous people would get away. So there's a whole lot of uh, there's a whole lot of heritage and a whole lot of environmentally very important things that we have to protect. And when when do we get into a fight like this? And we are in a fight because West Connects is a big arrogant organisation that will that thinks it can do what it likes. When we get into a fight like this, there's always a chance that we we might lose. But 
If we don't fight, we've lost already. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, and we'll hold that, that thought with us. I'm sure that's exactly why everyone's come out tonight in the middle of the week. Um, if we don't fight, we're going to lose already. I'm now going to uh, ask uh, Gavin Gatenby uh, to talk to us. Gavin is the co-convener of Ego Transit, um, a fantastic organisation of passionate people uh, who concentrate on public transport advocacy. Um, I can wholly recommend if you don't know about Eco Transit, um, Google them, check out some of the uh, excellent research that they have on their website uh, that gives uh, credible alternatives uh, to building more roads. And we will now, we'll turn the light off and we'll hear from Gavin. 